Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. I want to make a quick, hopefully helpful video for any of you in the Age of Empires 4 stress test who are struggling to reach the feudal age by 5 minutes. Now, I'm not an expert by any means, but I thought I'd share what I've settled on for the moment that gets me to feudal age at almost exactly 5 minutes every time. If you have a better build order, then of course let me know, as these are very early days, and I'm sure this can be optimized much better. This is just what's working for me at the moment and is pretty consistent with the 5 minutes. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, queue up a villager, and we're going to put our uh, six guys all on sheep. And actually, our next one's going to go on sheep as well. It's going to be a little finicky, trying to get that right in there. Okay. And now we just go around, and we'll look around for some more sheep. I don't see any, but that's all right. There we go. And I'm just going to shift queue around here. Okay, so our first villagers come out, and our next two... Now, this could be too early. And I'm sure if it's fully optimized, it is too early, but it's very similar feeling to Age of Empires 2 to have your next few go on wood once you've got enough on sheep. So I've got seven on sheep, which is one more than you would do in Age of Empires 2. And this next villager is going to build a house. And you got to be pretty quick with this because the house is done in 15 seconds and a villager takes 20 seconds to make. So theoretically, if you're sending that villager over, this house should be done just before that villager comes out. And we're going to have two here on wood. So we've got seven on sheep and soon to be two on wood. And see, the house came out. We didn't get housed. Perfect. And just remember, keep queuing it up. And every once in a while, i got to bring this guy back. Maybe we'll do up there and then come back. Okay, so that's our two on wood. Our next is we're going to go three on gold. Unfortunately, my gold's kind of far away. So it looks like I've got one on wood, but that's because this guy's building the lumber camp. So now I've got two on wood, and this guy's going to go up here. So kind of like right there, because then that <laughs> saved me one later for the stone. Although we're not going to grab stone in Dark Age here. Yeah, okay, i got to come back with these. Keep in mind that you don't really need wood to advance. So you don't want to be putting a ton of villagers on wood, and I think that's a really common trap that people are falling into. Okay, so we're going to go with three on gold. That's two on gold now. And here comes my third one. And remember, we want 200 gold right as we get 400 food. And this basically does it perfectly every time, I find. At least with Britons. So now, this is what we got. And now we're going to put everything else on sheep. And we should be clicking up right when this hits 16. So with 15 villagers. And I don't find too many sheep anymore all of a sudden, but that's actually okay. And just be a little careful. Keep an eye on that you don't have too many uh, idle units. And ideally, we want to be able to make our building at the exact same time this gets to 200 gold. This gets to 400 food, and we can still queue up a villager. That's what we're going for. So if I've done this right, as this next villager comes out, we should be able to build uh, our landmark. And to do that, I'm actually going to grab all of the gold villagers. I only really needed gold for the advancing, and even if I want some more in feudal, I can just put new villagers on gold to do that. And so, it might not be perfect timing, but look at this. We're getting 400 at the same time as 200 at 16 pop, and I can put it down. And so this is at 3 minutes. I just gotta make sure I keep queuing these up and build a house at some point here. And basically the way I think of it is at this point, the villagers we're making, we're going to set up our economy toward whatever unit we're focused toward. And so, you know, that might be wood, that might be food, that might be gold. Kind of depends. But now I could uh, I could throw a bit more on wood. Notice that we kind of dropped to zero food and gold right at that critical moment. And we actually have more wood than we need. So I could put some more on wood if I'm thinking about making longbows in a minute. What I like about this is it follows... Basically the same pattern as Age of Empires 2, like with the wood and then the gold. And the timing seems to work out pretty well. And I'm just going to wait a minute so you can see. It really does get us around five minutes, maybe slightly after. Okay, and here we are coming up on five minutes. Obviously I threw a couple extra here, but sub five minutes. And I can throw out some longbows. Honestly, I don't even really need this much on gold. If I'm being honest, I probably should have thrown a couple more on wood. And I can throw some on food, but I'm already making uh, longbows, which is the point, if I'm going to go with this building. And I don't even mean this to be a longbow rush strategy, it's just we're after five minutes. Actually guys, just to show you, 
you can get way faster times with China. So just doing the same build, I get there at four minutes using three builders, which I probably don't need considering their builders work twice as fast. Yeah, wow. I knew they were a little faster. I didn't realize they were that much faster. You can get some crazy times with Chinese. Wow. All right, and I did the same build again with the Abbasids, and here I am at three minutes ready to click up, and it says it takes two minutes to advance to the next age. So again, yeah, hitting around five minutes. Now, I'm not promising you're going to crush on the ladder if you use this build, but the idea is it's just one simple build that you can learn, and it really works for every civilization, as far as I can tell. So hopefully you found that helpful, and I'm sure even by the end of the weekend, there'll be much better build orders out there, but this is just what I've been doing, and it seems to get me there at a reasonable time. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.